Hey guys, this is Hacks Nation on how to improve performance on your Windows 7 PC. Now, my first tip is to use an antivirus program to scan your computer for any possible viruses, drones, etc. Now, there are loads of free ones out there, like a VAST AVG. I personally recommend a VAST because I use a VAST and it has helped me um, in the past where it has detected malware. Now, watch some trains can really slow down your computer and your internet as well, so I, I would recommend getting an antivirus. And if you download stuff, then that, that's a must. Now, my next tip is to uh, disable an option called Power Saver. Now, those of you who keep your laptop plugged in um, and it's always charging for this tip, but those of you who use the laptop as a laptop, as, you, as in you move it around quite a lot, don't follow this tip. All right, okay, so what you need to do to disable it is go to Start, Control Panel, sorry, Hardware and Sound, Power Options, and as you can see here, there's not, there are two options, Balance and Power Saver. Once again, those of you who keep your laptop plugged in, do change your option to Balance as it will improve performance. And those of you laptop as a laptop, don't follow this tip. Thank you. All right, my next tip is to unsort any unnecessary programs. I'm pretty sure you know this tip. It's quite common. And those of you who have low-end PCs, especially, please do unsort programs that you don't use. Programs like Adobe. Um, some of the Adobe programs have background services running, but they're running as well. This can really slip drag your performance down quite a lot. Alright, so, so, so to install a program, go to control panel, programs, and click programs and features. As, I, as you can see here, there are lists of features, uh, sorry, uh, programs that I installed on the computer. To install one, I just have to click the program and click on install. That's pretty straightforward. Alright, my next tip is to use a program called CCleaner. Now this program is is one of the most handiest programs I've ever dealt with in my life. Um, there's a link to this program in the description. You can get it. It's, it's free, so don't 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 feel I don't know bad about getting a free program. All right. So this is literally the cleaner. Now what the cleaner does is it deletes your temporary files, as you can see here. Loads of cookies. The whole list is here. So you can um, analyze and run cleaner. It will, for a moderate user, it will clean around 300 megabytes of space. And so you, you need to get quite a lot of space. And if you are, uh, if you use quite a lot, that would be really useful. Now, my, the next tab here is registry. Now, um, I don't know if you knew this, but um, as you use your computer a lot, it, uh, some of the registry, um, registry gets corrupt and this does cause a lot of issues with your um, laptop or computer. Now um, this, there's a tool here to scan for issues. Um, there, you, you'd be surprised at how, um, how many you find. Um, I, I cleaned mine yesterday and I already have two. So um, that's pretty useful. As you can see, the, see here, there are four options in the Tools tab. Install Startup, System Restore, Disk Wiper. Now, Uninstall is literally a much better improved version of the preloaded one, which comes with Windows. It, it, it literally does, does the same, um, and same stuff. It uninstalls the program. But I, th I think this is a much easier interface and a much more smooth one. Now, Startup. Those of you who have long, long boot up times, um, uh, go to tools, start up, uh, and disable those you don't use. This can really save quite a lot of time when you're boosting up your computer. As you can see, I've uh, uh, disabled quite a few here. Uh, to disable uh, a program, click on the program and click disable. It will disable the program, so next time you start up, that program won't, won't automatically start up. Now, the two options here, System Restore and Disk Swiper. I'm not going to go into those two today, but I will do so later. Now, you have 
um, in options tab, you have five here. You can look through that in your own time. It's about your personal settings. Now, um, my next tip is to use a program called Disk Clean. It comes preloaded with Windows 7. I'm pretty sure it uh, comes preloaded with Windows XP, Vista, etc. And um, so it, it literally does the same thing as CKeener. The, the first feature I showed you, is, it's literally the same thing. So um, if, if you're using this, don't, don't even bother with that. Now, um, I've been through that as well. Now, use Task Manager to stop the services which you don't use that, run, that's, that runs in the background. Now, I'm pretty sure you use your Task Manager when your computer is crashing. But this is, uh, um, if you look through many of the tabs, um, you will kind of, know what happens but those of you who don't know what happens um they, when you go to task manager there there's a tab called processes and processes literally all all the stuff that's running and the loads of stuff that happened in the background which you have no idea of and would be really really useful to um to not use as in the stuff here i didn't use it so to, to i just have to end that process and it, it would speed up at least a bit um, of, my, uh, of my RAM. Now, uh, defragmenting your hard disk. Ring. Okay. Um, I don't know if many of you guys do uh, do this, but uh, defragmenting your hard disk would be a really good idea because um, it, uh, it, re it rearranges files in your hard disk and means it makes it easier to access. Thus, it would it logically makes sense. It would improve performance. There's um, there's a preloaded. It comes preloaded with Windows Seven. Just type in this defragmenter and it would come. Yep, it says here. Uh, so that's what you need to do to um, defragment your hard disk. Now, there's the programs out there like VegClean, which is by Microsoft, but it's just not free, um, which uh, defragments your registry. Uh, that's a really good option as well. Now, um, I've been through that. Now, um, I, I, don't, I don't know if you guys knew this, but um, when you plug in uh, a USB, uh, you get some option to um, to ready boost. So um, let's say if you plug in a USB, I haven't yet. Oh, well, that would be a good idea. Um, I'm I'm really sorry about that. Um, it would show up in my computers, and if you if you right click, it would show up here. Um, let's see if there's an option here. No, there isn't. Okay, so um. Uh, once that happens, uh, there'll be an option called uh, Ready Boost, which is an option to use up some of your uh, some of the space in your USB to speed up your um, laptop. And it's it's um, I'm not saying it's the best option because I don't think it it improves your performance that much. But try it if you're really that desperate. Um, now. Uh, uh, this uh, this is a tricky one because um, th those of you might have problems you're not sure how to resolve. So um, what you need to do is um, go to run, press uh, go to run, press run, and type in SFC space scan now. Now what this does is SFC stands for System File Checker, so it checks your files for um, any corrupt files. Um, etc. I know would fix some some problems, and it has helped me quite a lot. Now um, I have two recommended programs here: uh, C Cleaner, which I've been through. TuneUp Utilities. TuneUp Utilities is quite a recent one for me, at least. Um, so um, I'll, I'll just uh, run through what uh, TuneUp Cleaner is. TuneUp Utilities. Now, um, as you can see here, there's loads of um, tabs. And the loads of loads, the loads and loads of um, options there. There are, um, as you can see, here, you can defragment your registry. That's free. That's free. So you can use TuneUp Utilities to defragment your registry. Um, gain disk space. That would be quite useful. Fix problems. Customize. Even customize your um, Windows appearance. Now here, as you can see here, I'm pretty. I'm pretty sure most of you will be tempted to. Um, Press turbo, but um, I don't think it's a good idea because I've I've personally used it 
and as you can see here, my font has gone pretty horrible. So um, and it hasn't the speed hasn't improved much. So um, don't don't do that if you um, if you really want to keep your Windows look. And that's it. Um, uh, the download links uh, will be in the description. You can get it from there. And please do subscribe. And my special link will be also in the um, description. Please follow. Um, thank you for watching. That's it.